It is vital that the Metropolitan Police and other forces double down on their efforts to root out corrupt officers. This may mean more shocking cases come to light in the short term. It is a matter of the utmost importance that there are robust processes in place to stop the wrong people joining the police in the first place, which is why the Government has invested in improving recruitment processes and supporting vetting as part of over £3 billion that we have provided for the Police Uplift programme. We have to face up to the further evidence that this case has brought up of appalling failures in the police vetting and misconduct processes that are still not being addressed by the Government and are not being addressed in this statement. And I would say to the Home Secretary that given the scale of the problems, not just in this case but in previous cases as well, her statement is very weak and it shows a serious lack of leadership on something that is so grave and affects confidence in policing as well as serious crimes. And all we've got in this statement is a continuation of existing Angelini review and a new review, another one on dismissals, which I welcome because this ha there are concerns that the dismissals uh, process has become more difficult and has become worse since well-intended reforms were introduced but have not worked as intended. So I welcome that review, but it was announced in October and it still hasn't started and all the Home Secretary has done is re-announce it today. Uh, it's a disappointment that the Shadow Home Secretary has resorted to cheap political lines. I don't think today is a day for political attacks. There's been a human tragedy at the heart of this case and ultimately politics should be set aside. I'm willing to work with anybody. Uh, we've also ensured that uh, Lady Angelini will be looking more closely into culture uh, in policing to root out uh, so that we can better implement and deliver systems that will root out misogyny, uh, predatory behaviour, sexual assault or, or any other uh, offensive uh, behaviour that might lead to criminal activity within policing.